This COP has demonstrated that the global energy transition is already in motion. With discussions now about how to phase down fossil fuels being included in the text or about to be included in the text. And these have enormous implications for oil and gas producing countries that need to be tackled now. Oil and gas producing developing countries should start planning their energy transitions today because this is going to have an important implication for their economies. But the international community has a very important responsibility as well because an important amount of funding is going to be needed for this energy transition to happen in those countries. We know that JETPs, the Just Energy Transition Partnerships, are a very important tool for that. They could not only bring public money to energy transition, but they could risk private investment. There are a lot of rumors and conversations about JETPs as of now, but there is no transparency about them. And we are calling for a more participatory approach on them. There is more than needs to be done in terms of bringing the voices of different stakeholders at the country level to these discussions for these jet piece to be sustainable and being able to materialize them. There has been some discussions as well at this COP about critical minerals, and we know those are very important ones because they, these minerals are the ones that are going to source all these renewable energies that um, everybody is talking around in this COP. But we are also very worried about the risk that this might uh, imply in terms of social corruption or social environmental impact for communities. We call also not only on governments to improve governance at the national level, but to the international community to support financially and technical this improved governance in mining countries.